family, friends, and colleagues yeah. remember Max Cleland. That's right. The former Georgia U.S. Senator died today in his Atlanta home from congestive heart failure mm -hmm. at the age of 79. Jeff Hollinger takes a look back at his life and career. It is almost impossible to communicate how big a public figure Max Cleland was in our city and state. For more than 30 years, his name recognition was like Dale Murphy, Mayor Andrew Young, Mayor Maynard Jackson, Coach Vince Dooley, Senator Johnny Isaacson, and Governor Zell Miller. Seeing him at a Braves game was seeing an A-list celebrity, people shouting, staring, saying hello. Mr. Cleland was ebullient and available to everyone, including reporters. What a life of meaning in our state. He earned it. U.S. Senator Max Cleland turned 79 August 23rd. He had been in poor health for a while. Heart surgery in December exacted a physical and a mental toll. Joseph Maxwell Cleland grew up in Lithonia, enrolled at Emory, and joined the Army and went to Vietnam in the late 1960s. Captain Cleland was serving in the 1st Cavalry Division at Quezon, April 8, 1968, when he lost both legs and his right forearm in a grenade explosion. He spotted a hand grenade as he dropped off a helicopter. It had been dropped by another soldier, and Captain Cleland reached for it, not knowing it was live. Both legs, his right arm, and almost his life gone. He was awarded the Silver Star. His purpose was clear, public service. In 1970, Captain Cleland became the youngest member of the Georgia Senate. President Carter appointed him to lead the Veterans Administration, the youngest person at 35 to hold the job and the first Vietnam veteran. Georgia's Secretary of State in 1982, U.S. Senator from 1996 to 2002. We ought not to have any citizen in this country, any elderly citizen in this country, having to choose between taking their medicine and paying for food or rent. Therefore, I strongly favor a prescription drug benefit under Medicare. We need that, and we need that for our seniors now. In November 1996, he defeated Guy Milner by a razor-thin margin. The last time a Democrat from Georgia was elected to a full six-year term in the United States Senate until 2020. It's from Joe Namath. Yeah, that when you win, Nothing hurts. <laughs> Six years later, Senator Cleland was defeated in a bruising battle with Saxby Shambliss for the U.S. Senate. I went down into almost a death spiral, Senator Cleland said a few years ago. Looking back, I didn't try to commit suicide, but I didn't want to live. Senator Cleland was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress syndrome, a remnant of his ordeal in Vietnam nearly 40 years ago, triggered by losing his Senate seat. He wrote about it in his memoir, Heart of a Patriot. Depression is real, he said at the time. In recent years, President Obama appointed Max Cleland as Secretary of the American Battle Monuments Commission, a federal agency in charge of battlefields and cemeteries. Senator Cleland also offered support to Stacey Abrams. All of our lives are better in Georgia because of his life and his public service. I've encountered Senator Cleland at charity events over the years and inside one of our mutual favorite restaurants, the Colonnade. A great American life. He will be missed. By the way, President Biden released a statement saying, Cleland was a man of, quote, unflinching patriotism, boundless courage, and rare character. He also says he was proud to have worked by his side in the Senate. And as of right now, folks, uh, funeral arrangements have not been made. And once we learn those details, of course, we're going to share them with you on air and online on 11alive.com.